Hello, everybody. Worldwide population is growing. Um, natural resources are under stress. And perhaps so, perhaps so we will be talking about the survival uh, in future in place of, in, in, instead of the sustainability if the environmental pollution continue to increase. My name is Oytun. I come from Turkey. I work for Fresenius. I and me and my some of colleagues here to present to you how can we achieve the reduced water consumption in our business, thus support the sustainability. Fresenius is the multinational medical company. Um, he's the leader in the area of uh, the treatment of the kidney failure patients. Fresenius uh, provides the medical devices, pharmaceuticals, and the patient treatment in 67 countries worldwide. And we have uh, 280,000 patients under treatment in more than 3,000 dialysis center over the world. In only Turkey, as the beginning of this year, Fresenius has 47 dialysis centers, means approximately uh, 7,000 patients receiving the total of 1 million treatment per year in only Fresenius Turkey dialysis, dialysis center. First, let me introduce the relation between the medical dialysis and water. Before this, we tried our business um, as much as it possible in accordance with the green method. We believe that the green method is the best way and will bring benefit to everyone. So these green methods need to be economically, socially, and environmentally friendly in order to become as sustainable. In average, 15 minutes of shower, taking shower, requires 150 liters of water. A dialysis patient's single treatment requires 400 liters, approximately, of water. The number of the dialysis patients at the end of the 2014, approximately 2. Point million worldwide. And the water consumption for all these dialysis patients is approximately 1 billion, of liter, 1 billion liter of water in two days. Two days means Dialysis patients were treated every other day. About the dialysis treatment, um, so what is hemodialysis treatment? The conventional hemodialysis treatment uh, is most commonly known uh, treatment uh, in these modalities. And every patient treats treat three times in a week under treatment, and each shift takes four hours. In 2014, over the 53,000 patients were treated in Turkey, that means approximately 7.6 million treatment per year. Only in Turkey, <coughs> pardon me, only in Turkey are, we are spending more than 3 billion water three billion liters of water per year. Once again, clearly, the organ donation is so much important for sustainability too. What is the current situation? Um, the water shortages, <clears throat> water shortages are so much important in today's world for any industry, also in medical sector. The results of our project contribute to protection of water reserves, preservation and unnecessary consumption, and guarantees for the future for dialysis patients. 
An average carbon footprint is 4,000 kilogram per capita in a year due to the, his or her daily activities. On the other hand, dialysis for only one patient <coughs> equals to approximately the same amount of carbon dioxide formation. A four-person family consumes to 480 liters of water in a day, which is equal to the consumption for only one dialysis patient treatment. This shows the magnitude of the environmental impact of dialysis. What are the typical risks in dialysis clinic regarding water? Inadequacy of existing water reserves. Disruption in patient care during the emergency or water shortages, for example, earthquake. The high water usage, the third one, it means money. We pay money to water supplier. What is the relation between the water and dialysis? I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the concept of the hydraulic cycle. And the, in a short, the water comes from the nature, uh, from the natural resource, to the water treatment plant, usually managed by the municipality or city councils. And after the treatment, water uh, pumped to the pipelines network and come to our homes, factories, and also the dialysis center. Each dialysis center has a special water treatment system in the building in order to produce, to provide water, and that water uses for the dialysis patient. Our project, um, our main goal is to decrease the environmental problems and support the sustainability. Because worldwide we are facing with the global, global climate change, depletion of the water resource, and increasing the carbon footprint. And I would like to say to you that our project is easily implemented uh, to any dialysis center by low cost. The details of the target have been identified throughout the annual environmental program globally and locally. We call it balanced scorecard. That means a monitoring system. Environmental performance indicators uh, are monitored, uh, monitored at monthly basis throughout the environmental reporting the database. In order to strengthen the program, Green Care, Green Dialysis, project was implemented in four main categories in uh, 2013. One of the main categories was uh, defined as a decrease the water. Within the same project, other improvements of the carbon footprint of dialysis clinics, waste management, energy management, efficient materials management, logistics trainings were provided. And after the beginning of this project, our aim was minimum 20% of water saving. The actions are find the alternative resource for water demand, increase the environmental awareness, and use the water and energy and materials effectively, and finally develop the environmental friendly dialysis centers. The project aimed to, the, aimed to and provided to optimization of water consumption throughout the first Increase the efficiency of RO yield. RO means reverse osmosis emission. It's the main component in the water treatment system. And reduction at the rejected water, drain water, which is not supported during the water purification process. And secondly, reuse the drain water by missing it the fresh water. The mixed water can be used in the facility in order to other, for other purpose. And thirdly, the adjustment of the hemodialysis machines. 
By optimizing the data auto factor during the machine preparation phase, our nurses can do this. And consuming the less water. And continuous training, supervision, and follow the KPIs, and increase the, which resulted in increased awareness on resource management and increase the contribution of employees. You see the typical water treatment system in a dialysis center. In order to produce a suitable water for dialysis, quality standards is our high importance. Reverse osmosis unit and the water treatment system remove the minerals and other substances from the fresh water, which is coming from the ST pipeline. The outcome of this process is ultra-pure water, ultra pure water um, and you may, seen, you may see the main drain in the red color rectangle, which is not able to stop the drawing the dialysis. Worldwide, typically reverse osmosis equipment works with the maximum yield of 75%. This is maximum. After the improvement of this water treatment system in our clinics, we increased the yield up to the 93%. So this idea is economically, socially, and environmentally friendly. This is economic because the price of the reverse osmosis membrane filters are reducing because of, due to the competition between the manu filter manufacturers. <coughs> On the other hand, <coughs> pardon me. On the other hand, the pr price of the water is increasing. So this is more economic. Despite of the doubling of the membrane filters, we used. Why? Because water is water prices is continuously increasing. You can you can make the consider uh, between the water prices and the membrane filters because it is to, both of them is consumable for this system. This is social because <coughs> the other water consumers has able to have more water, enough water. This is environmentally friendly because we use less water. The drain water, <coughs> pardon me, the drain water of the RO devices has, was mixed with the fresh water, which is coming from the steam pipelines. And reuse in accordance with the quality standards. Thus, the water consumption, consumption has been reduced. The water mixing system has been with the zero loss principle. It's safe to use because, as such as a potable water, because it is included enough free chlorine. We analyze the water, and there is no any risk for bacteria or microorganisms. Effect of this saving system is approximately 10%. Depends on to how much water you use in toilets, laundries, etc. And the thirdly, in addition, the adjustment of the auto factor in hemodialysis machines was carried out during the preparation of the device before the patient treatment start. The nurses can do that. By this way, the consumption of water decreased while the same quality treatment had been maintained. The effect of the water saving per treatment is approximately 2%. <clears throat> Based on this information, you see on the slide a study. The study was carried on in order to find an optimization between blood flow rate, processed blood volume, and the clearance rate of the blood and dialysate flow rate. And the linkage between the water consumption and the ideal rates have been identified. That is also helped to save the water. And effect of this saving per treatment is dependent on the auto factor, which is selected by the physician. And the project results. Over the period of five years, 91 million liters of water we save. 
Fresenius Turkey is the champion country for water consumption decrease in the EMEA region. When calculating the current value of water consumption per treatment station, 20 years of water demand of a dialysis center was met. On, in other words, the first annual consumption on 20 dialysis centers was met. And the project result. Throughout this project, we saved the water in our dialysis center. The main results, I can say that more efficient use of the available water reserves in our clinics. An ability to manage the patient treatment without disruption for reasons such as water shortages, emergencies like earthquake, something. And significant reduction of the water cost in dialysis, sector, dialysis centers, which has also contributes to sustainability of our business. How many kilograms of carbon dioxide we mean? The amount of the saving in terms of the carbon dioxide equals to 27.6 tons of carbon dioxide. Or the accumulated photosynthesis of more than 700 trees over the one year. And that was a teamwork. And I would like to thank you, my colleagues, for supporting this project. And we would like to see you in Istanbul on May for next um, Sustainability Brand Congress. And uh, thank you for you for your attention.